Oh, look at this cutie. Mommy's baby, yeah. Every time I let go of him, he's like, excuse me, hello. Look at his tail. <laughs> excuse me, where's, oh, oh. <laughs> spoiled you, are you just spoiled, but mommy does you, yeah. Oh my gosh, get it, get it. <laughs> Good morning, honeybees. It is Sunday. And the vlog just went up, and I just have to say, last week's vlog, obviously. Thank you guys so much for all the suggestions for vegetarian and vegan recipes, where to go. I am really inspired by that, and I am really going to try this week to start gravitating back into old habits when I was, excuse me, I like a tickle in my throat, um, when I was a pescatarian, which I did not vlog or, um, do YouTube when I was a pescatarian I don't believe so so this will be the first time I'm kind of trying out that lifestyle again here on my channel um, so yeah I just wanted to briefly mention that because that is what I'm going to be doing this week and I'm gonna start off as doing pescatarian just because I know it's gonna be hard for me to go straight into vegan and then I might fail and I rather kind of slowly gravitate into something like that maybe try out some vegan recipes try out like eliminating milk from my diet and cheese from my diet and see how that goes before going full vegan um, so try not to crucify me if you see me eating cheese or something because I am just kind of slowly gravitate into that but that is my goal for this year and I'm gonna be eating <laughs> trying to eat really healthy this week too. Not that I haven't been, I've just noticed that I let myself slip here and there, especially when I was living with my parents. I moved back into my house the other day. As you can see, I'm in my makeup room right now. Um, so I moved back into my own home and I'm going grocery shopping tomorrow and it's going to be all healthy food. Not that my family doesn't eat healthy, it's just that there are like chips and cookies and my dad has been home on um, sabbatical from work and so he's been cooking like baking and finding new recipes he wants to try because he's really into that as well he doesn't like to be on the vlog so that's why I haven't been sharing them on here I am trying to get him to do the flan recipe with me on the vlog because um, you guys saw at Easter we had flan and that was homemade so we'll see so today I am got on here because I am doing more of a natural look except for that highlight Woo! <laughs> I love this highlight so I did more of a natural look today because I'm trying out a new foundation. I know a lot of people have already done reviews on this foundation, but I'm going to do one too. <laughs> and I'm trying it out today. And this is the L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover in shade 301 Classic Ivory. So far the foundation matches me perfectly as long as it doesn't oxidize. So I will let you know soon. And it's like a moussey texture. It's really great coverage. I'm very impressed by that. So we will see. And then I am going to be filming probably this week a use it up for 2017 I did one last year and I still have to film the like conclusion to that so I figured I might do like a two-in-one like conclude what my goals were last year and how I succeeded and then include a few items that I want to use up this year and one of them is this blush it's absolutely beautiful and glowy as you can probably tell on my cheeks um, but it's getting a little bit older it was part of Sephora and Pantone Universe's tangerine line a few years back and this is the apricot brandy blush and it's really really pretty it's like more of like a baked blush but i really want to use that up um and then i tried out some more new products i used this artiste couture diamond glow powder in illuminati it is so beautiful i thought it would be too dark on my skin but it's really not it gives like this gorgeous golden glow and i think it's going to be so so beautiful for summertime and then I used the Milk Makeup Eye Pigments in the shade, where are the shade names on here? There they are, After Party. So I have already loved these for a while, even before they sent me all the shades. I originally purchased Peep Show, and as you can see, it's kind of used quite a bit. You can see that it's squeezed at the top there. So I love these shadows. I already know that they work really well, but I decided to try a new shade, and then I put Illuminati a little bit on top of that. I don't really have anything in my crease. And then I just have Gimme Brow on my brows. No pencil today. My eyeliner, this is what I'm trying to use up. It's in Bourbon from Urban Decay. So I have that as my pencil liner today. 
I tried out the NYX Cosmic Metals lip cream for the first time today. This is probably the least natural thing about my look today because it's more of a metallic lip. But so far, I like it. It's like really nice. It went on very pigmented. It's not gritty feeling. Impress NYX. I mean, NYX usually doesn't let me down. And then I just used this Tarte Mascara. This is the Lights Camera Flashes. This is actually my last go. I'm going to have to put that in my empties because it was a little dry. So that's my natural makeup look for today. I will be doing a full review on this soon. Today's a good day to test this foundation out because it's going to be 100 degrees on April the 24th. I'm really scared for summer temperatures. <laughs> okay, I will talk to you guys later. So I'm doing a few Instagram pictures and this is the I'm a sucker for cute packaging <laughs> photo. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look at all these pretty products. By the way, this is brand new to my collection, this by Terry powder. Let me open it so you guys can see. Look at how beautiful that is. It has not been touched yet, but I do plan on using it this week, so that's why I'm taking some pictures of it. It's absolutely stunning. It was limited edition for the holidays, I believe. Imperialist? Yeah, I can't even say that. Pearlescent Glow. I saw this again on Lydia Millen's channel. I'm obsessed with her channel right now. But look at all these cute things. I probably will never touch this Mariah Carey powder. I purposely got it because of how beautiful and photogenic it was. I don't know if I can ever dare touch it. And I still even have the box for it. Hey guys, so it's a natural hair and natural makeup day today. That means I left you're my hair a natural. natural beauty. Oh boy. <laughs> That's right. Mama B's with me. <laughs> That's right, she's a natural beauty. Don't mind the toilet paper in the background. Toilet paper! <laughs> Let's hear it for the toilet paper. Anyone know where that's from? What movie that's from? It's pretty much my favorite movie all, of all time. What is it, Melissa? I don't want to tell them. I'm going to see oh, if they can guess, guess it. it? Okay. Yeah. It goes like this. Let's hear it for the toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> I, you didn't hear it the first time. So we're going grocery shopping for my house. I have something to say. Okay, what? Well, me and Melissa watched a new show. Oh. What's it called, Melissa? 13 Ways? 13 Reasons Why. Oh, so sad. Oh my gosh, you guys. I was just talking about this with Mama B actually the other day in the car about, like, we've all been through, I'm sure, most of us. Some people had different experiences in high school. I can personally say that I had a pretty tough time, especially in junior high. Like, not with bullying, but just like people that are mean, you just know? And like, mean. it's hard. High school is hard, but I could just imagine how much harder it is now with social media. Social like, media, when yeah. I was in high school, we had cell phones, but not everyone had a cell phone, and not everyone. Instagram wasn't around and Twitter wasn't, I don't think Twitter was around. I think MySpace was around, but like all of that social media stuff wasn't around where it's like 24 seven people can attack you and you know, put stuff on blast, like take pictures of your butt and put it out there and stuff like that. I could just imagine what the guys would have done in my high school. And the show's on Netflix for anyone who's wondering. So you can see all 13 episodes on there. We watched it in like two days. But I will say, if you have had experience with like a friend committing suicide or just like anyone in your life committing suicide, I really don't know if I would suggest watching it. Also, if I feel like I want to say this too, if you're in a place right now where you're just having a really hard time and you're contemplating that, just know that we're here for you. Absolutely. If you're watching this video, Mama B and I are here for you and we love you and we don't want you to do that. And if you need to reach out to someone, I'm here. I'm here just too. Just message me. Cause I'm everybody's I, mama. Yeah. yeah. Like I'm gonna cry just thinking about it because that just really hurts me to know that people out there think that they're alone and that they need to do something of that nature just to feel better. And well, yeah, we're here very for you. Sad. So if you can yeah, make really somebody is. stay, if you can reach out. Yeah, it definitely makes you think, right? Like about yeah. what you say, what, you how, say, what your actions are, how you, how you address it. someone. Um, just be yeah, kind. It does make you think. Be kind about to stuff. one another. Even if we're different, just be kind to one another. Yeah. <laughs> so enough with me being like all sappy and everything, but I love you guys and that show really really hit us hard, especially the last episode. Oh, oh my so, gosh. So I even posted about it on Twitter and the show messaged me back and said, they responded back and said, she never said it would be easy when I said that it was really hard to watch that. And I actually retweeted it because I was like, yep, that's, that's really true. 
But okay, so we're gonna go grocery shopping and I'll talk to you guys a little later. All right, so just got back from grocery shopping. I did go to Walmart this time around and I found some beauty products I wanna show you guys in a second too. So first off for the veggies and fruits, I got some bananas for my smoothies, some baby spinach also for smoothies and for wraps, some organic baby carrots for snacks with hummus or with some ranch. I also have some of these mini peppers for some wraps or with some hummus. And then I have these flat out, half the carbs, half the calories, light wraps. I love these um, for lunch. They're really, really good. I'm trying out this hummus. I've never had it before, but this is the black bean and jalapeno hummus. I love jalapeno hummus, so figured I'm probably gonna like that. I've got two cans of the Bumblebee in water solid white albacore, six eggs. I'm trying out this flavor of the Laughing Cow for the first time. Usually I get the Swiss, this is the white cheddar, and they're only 35 calories each and they're really good for a snack or for lunch. A really tiny, I can't believe it's not butter. I wasn't planning on getting these, but they're brand new and I wanted to try them here on my channel for you guys. So these are new flavors from the Vel Velveeta line. This is the sandwiches, the strawberry yogurt ones, and these are the toasted coconut. I'm most excited about these, they're brand new. And there was another flavor of the yogurt ones, I believe it was vanilla. And then I got these Triscuits, the rosemary and olive oil, because I'm kind of obsessed with any like kind of rosemary cracker lately, so I thought those would be good with the Laughing Cow. Smart Food Popcorn now has this 35 calorie variety for a cup, which is awesome. It's actually less money than the Skinny Pop, money, less calories than the Skinny Pop. This one is the white cheddar, and then I got the sea salt. And then I did get two Halo Top ice creams. I need to put these in the, the freezer right now. The peanut butter and then the cookie dough. You can have this entire pint of ice cream for 320 calories. This one's even less calories. Oh no, they are both the same. Um, but obviously, I'm not gonna eat the whole thing at one time, but you can is my point there. And then this is the salsa I get. This is just the medium picante. And then some avocados. I got four like little small ones. Then I got the sparkling water, one's in pineapple coconut and one is in golden peach and this is the first time I'm trying that out. And then I also got a thing of water bottles over there. All right, I'm gonna show you what I got makeup wise. So Physicians Formula came out with two more of the butter blushes and these are deeper colors. So I really wanted to showcase these on my channel and see what I think of them. The first shade here is called Vintage, Vintage Rouge and it's like a little bit more of a peachier pink tone, really pretty. And then this one's a little bit more of a bubblegum cooler tone pink. And this is in the shade Rosy Pink. And then I also, actually Mama B spotted this. This is the Milani Highlight in shade number one and I've definitely been wanting this one so I can't wait to try it.
look where I just went and I don't want to show you what I got. It's kind of, this is kind of like a sneak peek, but I went to the Target dollar spot for specific things. One thing I have not found. So one of you told me that you saw the rose gold wire bins at the Target dollar spot. Unfortunately, the only kind of wire bins I see at the dollar spot right now are bullseye, whatever you want to call it area are the trash bins and they're not rose gold. They're like, different colors. So I still didn't see those and I also really, really wanna find the pineapple that's at the dollar spot right now. If you are gonna be doing anything wedding related in the near future, you need to go to the dollar spot. I'll insert a few clips right here, but I'm also gonna do a haul video where I'm gonna insert the clips. So I'll insert a few clips of me shopping and showing you the goodies in a second, but I am gonna go and film a very impromptu haul right now where I don't redo my makeup, I don't try to get all snazzy for it. So hopefully um, you guys still really enjoy it. I'm gonna go film that now. She was trying to be all fancy and like say what it was and she didn't know either. So I went to my hand PT today. He said it's improving, but just very, very small increments. And yeah, and then we went to, we went to one other Target to see if they had the pineapple Ugh, that ridiculous. I was looking for at the dollar spot and they did not. And the only time we've ever seen one, Mama B did see one like a week or so ago, but it was chipped. So she didn't get it, and ever since then we haven't seen it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'll insert a picture right here, so you can see. Now they do have some at Home Goods, but they're like twenty dollars, and I don't want to spend twenty dollars for a pineapple decoration, so did not get them. Yeah, it was only three bucks at Target. Yeah, it was for three dollars. Well, we should go to the Arizona Target. There we go. I'm gonna take one more stop. Oh, the Arizona Avenue one. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna try and see if we can find one more at the Target Dollar Spot. And yeah, that's pretty much been it. We're gonna have some lunch in a second here too. It's about one o'clock. I did my hair a little different today. Oh, it's falling out. Lord have mercy. I'm gonna have to clip that a little bit, but. <laughs> <laughs> but like my hair was naturally curly and I just couldn't sand it anymore. So I just twirled it on the sides and put it in a big side bun. And I have my like kimono on that you've probably seen a bajillion times if you follow me on my channel for a while. Cause it's just so comfy and lightweight and it's so hot here. So yeah, that's it. I'll talk to you guys later. Maybe I'll show you our lunch if we have anything fun. I'll talk to you later. So Mama B and I just got back from PT and then we also went to the 99 cent store. I was looking specifically for some clear see-through salt and pepper shakers, didn't find them, but, and I'll tell you why in a second, but I did find these S hooks that I was looking for. And these are two inch and we're hoping these are gonna be big enough. If not, I'll have to go to Lowe's later to get what I wanted, but figured for a dollar I'll try those out. I got a lighter, I use these to light my candles so I don't burn myself. <laughs> because I'm accident prone. And then I got this Lysol Clean and Fresh Toilet Bowl Cleaner. I usually get the larger size, but this was only a dollar. So I decided to get one of these, and this is in the lavender scent. 
The Pellegrino bottles were two for a dollar, so I got two of those. I love this water. And then I got these disinfectant wipes. I also got a Mother's Day card for Mama B. Look how stinking cute this is, you guys, and it's all sparkly. I just couldn't. I just couldn't pass that up. So cute. So Mama B ended up going to Home Goods while I was at PT, and she found some cute things again, so I wanted to share with you. So we've been looking for a really cute little pineapple that the Target Dollar Spot had, and we're just unsuccessful. We must have gone to at least five to six different Targets at this point, and we can't find it, but she found this for $3.99 at Home Goods. It actually has a potpourri bag inside, and it smells so, so good, and it has like a little um, gold top to it. Very cute, just as cute as the one from Target. The one from Target's a little bit larger and it's more of like a cookie jar style, but this is really cute, so we're gonna stop looking. <laughs> and then she found these decor trays. Aren't they beautiful? I love having acrylic trays like these to organize my makeup or to pretty much organize any drawer. So I'm very excited to have these and they obviously match my house because they have the silver kind of bling look to them and then she got this really nice topiary and these are actually real leaves that they made into a topiary i can't even believe that and it has a gold beautiful base i just need to clean off a little bit but it's really pretty i think i'm gonna end up putting this in the den on the little mini table all right guys victory i was able to find the salt and pepper shakers that i wanted for 99 cents at the 99 cent store by my parents house and these are glass and i think they're so cute and they are so perfect this is exactly what i wanted I wanted to get so i'm gonna put cinnamon in one and pumpkin spice in the another in another one only thing is you know they're not covered so they're not going to stay fresh for very long so you know i'm probably not going to fill them all the way up to just guarantee that they stay fresh and then i also got some double a batteries for only a dollar too i was out of those so here is my new little coffee corner. <laughs> so I repurposed my Ikea cart. I'll link it down below. I have one still in my den in the closet that holds like a lot of like paper things. But I had an extra one that I wasn't sure what I was going to do with. And I thought it was really cute in this corner here. And it has the same color as my kitchen. Like, you know, the decor, the mints. So I figured it would look really cute in here. So the ace hooks that we found at the dollar store were unfortunately too small. As you can see, there's one hanging off the side there. But I'm gonna order some larger ones to hang four mugs in the front right here. And so I will still have some mugs on this shelf and then those mugs there will be hanging from the front. And then I also plan to get some cute like paper napkins to put like right on top of the cart here too. These mugs won't be there eventually. This jar, I'm pretty sure um, I'm going to get an espresso machine. So the Nespresso pods will be in there. And then this is for sugar. And then I found these at the dollar spot. As you guys know, this one is the pumpkin spice and this one is cinnamon. So I have those two little shakers there. And then I have that little carafe full of my paper straws that I use for smoothies, really. Um, so those probably won't be for my coffee. But I just liked how it looked there. These are like little cozies. And I do like having these on my mugs, like um, my to-go tumblers. So I have like one for Christmas, one for like um, fall time, and then I have this cute little bee one. So yeah. There's a few more mugs. I'm only going to put out the mugs that go with my decor. So like my silver mugs, any that have kind of like this beautiful teal in them. Those would be the ones that I display here. And then I still have my mugs in the cabinet as well. And then on the very bottom, I have my tea organized in a clear like acrylic box there. And then I have these two jars. They're from Ikea. One holds my Keurig pods and then this holds hot cocoa. Yeah, pretty much it's all hot cocoa. <laughs> I have a little bit too much hot cocoa right now. So yeah, there is my cute little coffee, coffee bar, I guess you would call it. And then over here is my Keurig. Um, I was thinking of using this one for like the Nespresso pods or my Keurig pods. I might still put like a few in there, like the ones that I wanna use right this second, like the ones that I'm gonna use maybe for the week or something. But I still really like, that maybe I'll put like um, cinnamon sticks or something in that one, I'm not sure. If you guys have any more ideas for me, let me know. 
So I just got some packages in the mail and one was this huge box from Garnier. Now they are doing something really cool to help with our problem with landfills being overpopulated with bottles that could have been recycled, especially beauty products apparently. They had like this little pamphlet with it and it says, that nearly half of Americans don't recycle in the bathroom. That is crazy. And as a result, beauty and personal care items account for a significant amount of landfill waste. So they're hoping to reach 10 million empties diverted from landfills. And they gave me this box so that I can put my empties in it and then you mail it and seal it up to Terra Cycle, which apparently Garnier will provide a shipping label for free through them. So very cool. Sorry I wasn't on the box. And then also they sent these two products inside that box from their Pure Clean line. And this is the fortifying shampoo and the conditioner with citrus extracts. So it's for normally to oil, normal to oily hair. So I'll definitely be trying these out. Thank you so much Garnier for bringing awareness to recycling and then also for sending me these awesome products. So I'm filming this on my iPhone because I'm too lazy to go and get, get my vlogging camera. But if you guys can't already tell, I'm wearing this gorgeous wig today. <laughs> and I'm going to be filming a haul video using the Deck of Scarlet palette that's coming out in May. I have all of that on my face today, so I probably look extra different. I have blonde, like, ombre hair. <laughs> I have, like, a little bit stronger makeup than I usually would wear. Like, a lot of purples. I need to start filming, though, but I just wanted to say a quick hi. And I will link this wig down below if you're interested. You guys, I'm surrounded. <laughs> I just finished filming the haul and it's, yeah, those are underwear. <laughs> but new ones, don't worry. But yeah, I'm surrounded by, by boxes. Help. So as most of you know, I was on a no Bath and Body Works buy for Lent. Lent is over, as you can clearly see. <laughs> so actually half of these products are Mama Bees. We went in on it together. They were having buy three, get three free for the Bath and Body products. And then the candles were buy one or two for 24. And then this little guy here I got for free with a coupon. And then we had a 25% off coupon your total purchase as well. So I got the honeybee candle because you know I had to. It's really not my favorite scent I've ever purchased from Bath & Body, but I love that it's honeybee related. So I got that. And then cucumber melon. This was one of two left on the shelves. It's super popular. And it reminds me exactly of the cucumber melon scent from Bath & Body that they retired years ago. And if you are from my generation, you know that the locker room in junior high smelled like cucumber melon. <laughs> or like you would spray yourself silly with that in, at camp and everywhere. So it just reminds me of childhood, so I had to get that one. And then we got the Waikiki Beach Coconut. Me and Mama B both love it. So we, we both got the lotion and spray. And then got this Bonjour Paris. Ooh la la scent. This smells so freaking good, you guys. It's like a sweeter scent, like a little bit more raspberry. And I love the new bottles, don't you? They're very, I think, more classic and high-end looking. They're now like these little square bottles. And yeah, this is the same scent. It has the Eiffel Tower in the background and says ooh la la. So pretty. I literally want to display those. And then I saw this, and I was actually on the hunt for this. One of you sent to me a picture, I believe, of it. It's all glittery, and this is actually a pocket back holder, but a really large one, so like you can put it in your room. 
And so you press this middle here, hold on. Press the middle and it lights up. Isn't that so cute? If you've been watching me for a long time, you know I'm obsessed with anything Parisian. So this was a must buy and I think it's so cute. So here's a little update on my coffee cart or my coffee bar, whatever you want to call it. So I don't remember how it looked last time I showed you, but I do have my Ikea jars. This one's filled with hot cocoa and that's filled with tea. And then those are all my Keurig pods. And then I have a little box in here that holds my coffee cozies. And then I did find these hooks on Amazon. The ones we purchased from the dollar store were way too small and did not hold the mugs properly. So I have three of my mugs displayed on the top there. And then I do have a few more mugs on the top here. Um, just because I think they go with my decor and they're cute. <laughs> and I'm sure this will kind of change. The top here will change over time. But I do have my cinnamon and my pumpkin spice there. So yeah, I like it. I'm liking how it looks. So I'm using a filter right now because I've been doing laundry, organizing all day, and I'm now editing this vlog. So if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys later.